Check it out. All right, we're out on the road and Jess got a flat, changed the tube. We got about, I don't know, half a mile down the road and we get another flat. We're like, what the heck? Of course, I pull out my trusty Soka pump and the flat's in the same section. I'm like, what the heck's going on? I look at the tire, good. More on that. I look at the rim strip, good. I'm like, what is the problem? So I air up on the second tube, and it's gonna be hard to capture, but let me see if I can stick the tire lever inside here. Sorry about the noise, but you know, we're out riding, so this is true life experiences. Can't do this stuff in a studio. So the problem is, ah, it's so hard to get to. It was easier to see when the air, uh, when it was inflated. There, see it now? Yeah. So. That looks like we need a boot. Yeah, so luckily we always carry a boot with us and we are going to have to put that in and we're, we're running close tight on time. So it's basically from uh, a, another tire and that looks like a GP4000 tire actually. <laughs> well, it's doing a, us a good service in its second life. Yeah, all right. I think I got a phone call coming. <laughs> So I gotta go. All right, bye bye. All right. All right. So here's the boot, and here's the split, like right at the bead. So hopefully you can see my finger poking through that. So that's really, really sketchy. <laughs> and it was hidden by the rim as we were looking for the top of the tire and the inside of the tire, looking for a cut or a gash or a thorn or something. So now with these boots, you just kind of stick that guy in there like that, in between the tire and the tube that's in there. And you got some extra sidewall protection. So you want to install that part first and then go around and get everything else to fit in. And just a quick primer or a quick reminder, I should say, that when you put on a, a tire, a tube tire, of course, you are going to try to finish off at the valve stem. That way you can push up on this, okay? So we're gonna get some slack. Once we get a little bit of slack, then we can just pop it over like that, okay? Once that's popped over, always push in on the valve stem just to make sure that your tube is not pinched, right? You've done a good job all the way around, so the last part here is you want to make sure it's not pinched. Okay. Uh, CO2. Oh, we just used the last one. All right, let me see if I got one. So of course, because you're gonna have such fast compressed air going in, you really do need to check that your tube is fully seated, or I should say your tire is fully encased by the tire, uh, by the, the tube is encased by, the tube is encased by the tire. <laughs> 
All right. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Go, boot, go. All right, so we want to check. I can feel the bump right there, so that's where. Now, sometimes if you've got a cut tire, what you may want to do is not fully inflate it. be like right there it seems to be holding I can feel the lump so you might actually be rolling along and go boop, 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 boop. No problem. <laughs> but at least you're gonna get home <laughs> we'll see yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's not, we're, we're not gonna fully inflate it that way we don't put any additional stress on that the cut the boot all that stuff ah. These glasses don't stay on this particular helmet very well. All right. All right, let's get home.